We're entering the final push for high school basketball. Only four teams make the playoffs from each district, but just a handful of games left to improve your position at this point. We begin in District 22 5A, where a lot of proven teams are around, but not enough spots to accommodate all of them in the playoffs. University making the trip to Ellison, probably the highest ranked big school in our area, University, but uh, Ellison's got something to say about it. Azil McIver goes up for three, makes it 6 2 Ellison. Then Sean Parks takes it down the court, down to White in the corner. That's all net. Eagles remain in front 9 to 5. We're still in the first quarter. Trojans inbound now. McKay picks it up, but the Sean Parker elite defense on the perimeter gets the steal. That leads to a layup 13 7. Ellison. Came in 2-2 two two in district. University was a perfect 4-0. Second quarter, Trojans looking to go to work. London Smith, that's a five-star, folks. Normally doing it as wide receiver on the attack right here. Two for Ellison, but Eagles get the big-time upset, taking down number 16, University, their first loss in district play. We'll stay in that district now. Belton battling for second place in a battle with Colleen High. You know what the run and bruise are going to do? They're going to go on a run. Tie game at 21 in second quarter. Jaden Moore hits the open three. A 7-0 run puts them up by two at the half, but a battle on the block. Trap Johnson rejected by Z. Ari Anderson, but if I know anything in this life, you can't be afraid to shoot your shot, young man. Gets the bucket and the foul. We're tied at 26. Anderson, though, would have his payback. Battling the double team up and in. Roos were down by 10 in the third quarter. Briefly took the lead in the fourth. But we go three minutes to go, two-point edge for the Tigers. Noah Childers hits the outside shot, and Belton going to hold on 60-53. Let's head to 6A. Harker Heights hosting Bryan, home of the TCU commit David Punch. Picking this one up, third quarter. Donnie Dukes at the point. Bounce pass right through the key to Lawrence Taylor. That's two for the Knights, 31-20. Later on, Jacoby, uh, Jacob Walt Walker dancing at the top of the arc, and he is going to take a nice little ride into the paint. Pull-up jumper, 42-30. Brian within 12. Well, let's go to the fourth. David Punch says, may I have this dance? All alone on the perimeter. Drives past the defender of the future. Horn Frog puts it in and says, let's make it 48-33. The nail in the coffin. Jaheim Green on the baseline. Kicks it out to Jamari Alexander. That three seals the win. 70-45. Harker Heights with the victory.